plus my dad. She has a cat. How are you today, Gigi? I am great. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I know. I know it's been a really long time coming. Let me get all my stuff together here. So look, 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 let's talk about this bio uh, for a minute because I know, um, you know, in the book you talk about uh, your recovery and, um, you know, your struggles with alcohol and all that. So is that what led you to this book? I think for sure, because when I quit drinking, which had a rather dramatic lead up, which is described in the book, I bet. multiple divorces, multiple problems. But when I finally did stop drinking, I realized that I still had a thinking problem. You know, I still worried. I still was negative toward myself. Um, I still had doubts and lacked confidence. And, um, you know, I had a lot of baggage from the past. Right. So that was all, I talk in the book about the whispered lies, you know, that was all. Oh, we're going to talk about that for sure. Yeah. 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 So, so this, you know, this, this is, this is baggage that you carry over with you. Okay. Yeah. And so I, I do want to let everybody know, I, I, I've read the book. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed the book. Um, you know. And I want to say, I really hate it when books talk to me the way that this, this book talked to me. <laughs> like, get your act together. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on, girl, you can do it. Because to some degree, we're all warriors, okay? But this right here, your book uh, talks about a warrior to the nth degree, where it just, it, just, it just overtakes you. You just worry about everything, right? Right, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Really it, it's, uh, we call it in a way you're obsessing about the past. So we're worried about what we did in the past. You know, of course we can't change it. And then we're uh, living in the wreckage of our future because we're projecting into the future all these things that could happen and might happen and how we'd fix them. And so we miss being in the very present moment, even, you know, in our relationships so that we get tense when we worry and we have negative thoughts and then we're not available for life. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. So I want to, you know, cause all this stuff is, is the stuff that goes on in your head mostly. Yep. Not that anybody's yep. telling you this, uh, it's just stuff that's going on in your head. And so in your book, you call them whispered lies. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 So is that something, I mean, did that just hit you? I mean, were you actually, when you, when you came up with this whispered lies, you know, cause I'm just thinking in my head, did that all of a sudden hit you while you were thinking about something that wasn't true? Yeah. I mean, the term whispered lies, it just kind of came to me, but it represents the fact that, you know, I had a lot of therapy. I had a lot of wonderful spiritual advisors. I've had, you know, I've done a lot of work over the years to discover all these 50 ways of worrying less now that are in the book. But when we have a negative thought, um, the first part is just being aware that there's a little negativity and that comes from our baggage quite often. You know, the parents who made you think maybe you weren't worthy of love or a old boyfriend who said negative things to you that you started internalizing, you know, or a teacher that made you feel stupid, you know, so then those get internalized and they whisper, oh, I can't do this. I'm not very smart. You know, that's like a whispered lie. Yeah. So, you know, and talk about that, you know, and we talked about, I'm, I'm pretty off the cuff because really, you know, I've, I've highlighted some stuff in the book, but mostly our interview was driven about by our conversation. So I want to, I want to talk on that a little bit about how people talk to you and how that, you know, gets in, implanted in your brain. Uh, and so you start thinking these things by yourself, but is there a certain type of person that, that lets this happen to them? I mean, it doesn't have to everybody. Is, is, are you, you know, predestined or predetermined to be susceptible to this. Yeah. Well, you know, I was, you're right. I was thinking about that because, you know, certainly people who are in a high stress job or doing something for the first time that you've never done, you know, if you have a really healthy self-esteem and you grew up in a supportive environment, and you have supportive people around you, you're less likely to have those doubts that become crippling. But people who grew up in dysfunctional families where, you know, how can you be so dumb? And, you know, they heard a lot of negative messages 
or you know they had um, a sister or brother who was highly competent and they always compared themselves there's all kinds of you know alcoholism in the family obviously. so there are all kinds of things that can kind of give people a little uh I don't know, install kind of negative messages. And um, certainly, you know, when you said, was it not genetic, but there is a, a highly sensitive person category. And uh, there's actually a fabulous woman who's researched people who sense other people's feelings more. And uh, the highly sensitive person then, I think is more prone to stress mm -hmm. because tend to be a little more tuned into what people are thinking. Um, there's a whole thing about highly sensitive people and some books written about it and so on, but they're more sensing and more sensitive actually. So a little more worry goes on there, you know? And certainly if you have a loved one, either a child or a husband or a wife who's dysfunctioning, that is a huge source of worry yeah. for people. And so, you know, I talk about that in my book because I married a man who was clean and sober and after 30 years, he started having some drinks and it scared me silly. So every single situation in here is something from my own life. These are all techniques I've used when I've hit situations that were rough 